Hello community! You are looking for your first job and it should be in AI. Well, I understand this, but there is a major problem attached to this. So, if somewhere a job offer is published, you know, at least a thousand people will go for this and AI will select three resumes and you have an idea of your chances. So, it is time to have a look at the system, understand what are other options for you? Because I think you should not apply for an AI job. Why? Look at a global corporation. Let's take Meta. What is the business of Meta? To sell ad space on its platforms. Beautiful. But understand, a global corporation is this very specific vehicle. It is first and foremost an investment object. Nothing else. So, CEO, the whole C-suite salary, it depends on the quarterly profits. And if they have profit, it doesn't mean they have to reinvest in better technology, in new research, in new AI. No, they just have share buybacks. So, therefore, the investment of their established investors becomes even more valuable. So, the rich investors get even richer. And those now richer say, hey, we would like to give the CEO an additional bonus, a special bonus. This is not a game about your personal value. You have to understand this. Because if the profit is not there in a specific quarter, you know what helps? To reduce the cost, to reduce the cost of personnel and so on. Therefore, in the medium to long term goal, those global corporations develop AI to have, I don't know, let's see, a 90% AI automation achieved in their global corporation. So this means they just have to deduct the operating cost for the AI system and the rest is pure profit. Growth. Beautiful. It is not personal about you. If you get fired, if you get a call and say, hey, today is the last day, do not take it personally. It is an investment object, first and foremost. And you see it now that you hardly get any job offers by these global conglomerates. And you have here the New York Times, why is big tech still cutting jobs or by the hill high? Why tech companies are laying off thousands of workers? Well, we know why, but we want a job there. It's a little bit crazy, no? But you know what? There's an exterior fact. Because Meta, for example, they developed this AI technology, or bought it from Microsoft or from OpenAI, whatever. And this did cost a lot of time and a lot of money. Therefore, Meta now wants to make money, sell this AI technology to other companies and simply share their development cost of the AI. Or, <clears throat> excuse me, to be a little bit more precise here on my YouTube channel, Meta wants to enable other global companies here with the beautiful benefits of an AI-induced productivity growth. But I think you get the idea. Great. You have to be really clear if you really want to enter here a J-Ball. This is typical here, for example, here the large industrial South Korean conglomerate, but you find them everywhere on our planet. Do you really want to have a global corporate career? This is what you have to decide first. Or, and maybe this is a much sunnier side, those companies that are established and that have a value generating business, they also want to apply AI technology for their growth, to increase their productivity, to have a better user interface whatsoever. So you know what? Maybe today, given here March of 2024, if you look here for different, smaller, maybe just local or national companies, this is also a beautiful way to get your first AI job and understand what's happening, how to run a company. You should not only just focus on j -balls. But of course, if you now decided, now we have a blue box, it is decided. But this blue box is a box for a reason, because the box is the box of the Pandora. In the box is a problem that nobody solved. 
And because nobody solved it in the company, in the enterprise, this is the reason why you are now offered a new job. And your new job is to solve here the business problem that the company has. But of course, what they publish is no company wants to say, hey, we have a problem, we need somebody. They give you here a very general idea what the future job will be. And now all the people in their curriculum, Vita, right? Yes, I know AI, I know Python, I know whatever. But maybe this is not the right way to do it. But before I tell you the right way to do it, let's talk about where you will fail and where everybody else will fail. Because we are talking about something that humans have human expectation what you have been told as a child what is the social norm in your nation but you know what with ai the game changed so therefore you will fail ups on your expectation on the expectation of your family my goodness she's such an intelligent girl now she has a phd from mit or from harvard or from stanford or from berkeley and now she is not the director of IBM. Well, yes, this is going to happen. You will fail in the expectation that your neighbors have, that your classmates have, whatever you think is a middle class standard. And all whatever the society might expect that you are successful, forget about it. You have to believe in yourself and you will be the only person to believe in yourself. And this is the foundation for your success. But I was talking here about this business case that exists. And the business case that is unsolved, this box of Pandora, is the reason why you are given a job. And please note that I say you are given a job. You are waiting there and you say, please, please, can I have a job? And then you are given a job. So if you now apply to this job, think about to do it in an intelligent way. Be the nucleus of a team. And I know this is difficult. And if you're an introvert like I am, or if you're a theoretical physicist like I am, it is hard to call the company and say, hey, can I talk with my colleagues there? Can I talk with the department head? Can I talk with one of the technical directors? Or like I did, I called the secretary of the CEO. And you know what? I told her, hey, listen, I have to be honest with you. I want to get this job, but I have no idea what is your problem that you want to solve in this company. Can you help me that I can understand how to write my application so that I can be really helpful and be really of value to this company? Be honest, and sometimes it helps. Okay. Therefore, in your CV, don't write what you can, what is your knowledge find three solutions for the business case that they have and show that you understand why this job exists and that you have solutions and that you are not limited to code AI system. Or like, I don't know, NVIDIA said, hey, forget about coding. Nobody needs to learn to code anymore because, you know, the system will do this for us. So we will now stop developing code because an AI system can just repeat what it has learned and therefore we have an absolute standstill, maybe you will use your intellect and say, hey, I found a new solution. Stand out of the crowd. And in the good old times, you have here the corporation and you have here, you know, your little job. And now you are a sub-subdivision of a sub-department of, a, I don't know, sub-branch of whatever. But these good times are over. AI enters the scene and AI enters every business process in a corporation. And now something happening, this is called self-configuration. It is an adaptive behavior of complex system. And with AI, now take the example of Microsoft. You have now Word with AI, you have Excel with AI, and my goodness, thank you, we have now finally PowerPoint with AI. What will, what, what the world do without PowerPoint? So you see, those companies innovate at first in their product space. And this gives you a short window of opportunities to find your job over there. Okay, dream companies. A lot of you ask me about dream companies. Yes, you will have outstanding companies that have a reputation based on maybe nothing, 
but they are there, they're investing in marketing, they're investing in whatever. But it is extreme difficult because everybody wants to get into those dream companies. Is this the best way? You have to decide for yourself. Because you have maybe another option. That you build your own company. And you know, this is this little here, insignificant, tiny little company at the end of Manhattan. But this company is your company. And you will not get a call. Hey, today was the last day with us. You don't need to come to the company tomorrow. Your company, your business, your responsibility, your risk, but your success and your reward. So maybe you build your own company and you know what? If you are successful, if you have the clients, if you have the technology, you will get a beautiful reputation. And you know that the dream companies, they have to grow. They are characterized by continuous growth. So they are looking for new investment objects and maybe your company is then in the perfect situation that you as the CEO of this company will suddenly find yourself here somewhere on the middle floor here of your dream company much faster than you would have started here from the very base of your professional career. A lot of options there for you. Just think about it. Don't follow the old path. But let's go here to this little insignificant building at the end of Manhattan, talking about to build your own company. Use the strengths that are available for you, like AI. In the core of this building here, you have an orange glowing power. This is the AI backbone. Use it. All the large corporations sell or rent out their computer infrastructure and their AI services. And they can only touch about, I don't know, two thirds of the available market because of their cost structure, because of their overhead, because of whatever. So there is an unbelievable huge amount of market left for you to discover, to build your own company. But this time window is closing fast. So you should move within the next year, maybe within the next two years and build your business cases, build your contact to your clients. Connect with your partner, connect with different networks. And you know what? You have a technology backbone in the eye technology, but you have to develop another backbone. And this is something called trust. And this is something between humans. And this is not what you can code, but this is something that you have kind of to give to the other human. You have to be yourself. You have to be open. You have to be identic you. You have to tell them, hey, this is my risk I take. This is what I want to achieve cooperating with you. Maybe you can help me. Let's talk about the condition. What do you want? Trust is only established between humans, between your partners or between your client. But trust is as important as the most powerful AI backbone in your company. And this also goes out to your staff. So never forget here the second backbone. Great. Now, if you have started it, the growth period just happens. It goes automatically. You find synergy, you interconnect with other agencies or whatever. You just grow the word of mouth. Unbelievable. But you know what? You can achieve something. You can not only find a job, but you can find or growth companies, your own companies. So if you look now at the AI job market with the target, with the perspective that you want to create your own company, that you want to use AI as a tool, as a backbone, AI is a tool. Damn, use it for you for to find new ways for your business to establish a startup, to come up with ideas and to use the power that AI has today and for sure will be developed in the next one to two years. And I tried here to express with this image, you know, if you have this AI hyper tower, whatever you want to call it, look out. So many other companies are looking here to have here a benefit from AI to use it in their business processes, in their business logic. So there are opportunity out for you. Just you have to approach it. You have to believe in yourself 
and you just have to work hard to make it happen. And if I want to give you one advice, this is it. Don't you dare to wait to be given a job by some corporate whatever company. Just go out and create it. You are powerful. You are intelligent. If you know how to work with AI, you have all the tools that you need right at your hand. So it is absolutely up to you to go out, create your company, be successful, maybe fail, but stand up and build your own company. I hope you get some ideas what I feel about this topic and it would be great to see you in my next video.